Hello and welcome to Behind the Scenes of Spider Queen, the making of Spider Queen Episode 7. It is Thursday, October 19th, and we are one day away from release day. Now, originally we had said we were going to release on October 27th, but things were going so wonderfully in the editing process that we think that we could release it a week earlier. However, just 24 hours away from our new release date, we have run into our very first roadblock, After Effects. <laughs> and I am not a big fan of After Effects. <laughs> and uh, my number one advice to anyone using After Effects is make sure you have enough disk space on your computer because After Effects takes up a lot, a lot of space. Even when you think you have your files and, and your system uh, <laughs> organized in the right way, you probably don't, make sure you do before you start editing in After Effects. So as you can see, we have this clip of Spider Hermit here. I probably shouldn't show you this, but this comes out after the episode is, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, powering up his czar so that he can release a his Confuse Beam attack. Now, what we're running into is, for some reason, I have plenty of disk space, but not enough that it's rendering Spider Hermit, so it's, it's turning him into this fuzzy little thing and I, and I really don't want to have to update it at, uh, upload it with him as that fuzzy but if we can't get it to fix that's what's going to have to happen here you see he goes up and then he goes really mad and he shoots out the czar blast and so that's what, that's what it's looking like in the after effects editing process we have all of our different files there and and whatnot so we decided we were going to make it green to sort of stay with his green color scheme going on here so his czar is green, and then his blast is like this this gross yellowy, greenish color blast. And this is when he's about to use it to mic in. All right, you can see here now we're looking at the timeline of Spider Queen Episode 7. Um, Mike is in the shot here. We focused a lot on more close-up shots. You know, here's spider Hermit, you know, Bakashi like that. Um, you see we're only six minutes into the timeline out of you know, 12 minutes of audio. So we still have half of an episode to do in one day if we want to get it done by the um, October 20th line. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, we had some really good shots lined up here. Let me see if I can show you one of them. Now that shot wasn't as, as good as I was hoping it was going to be the one that I wanted to show you. It was this one. It was this one where it just sort of, it's, you know, you got all of the characters in the shot. I spent hours working on that shot. It didn't, it didn't quite come out the way that I wanted it to come out, but it's still, you know, it still did what it's doing, I guess. It, it got the point across. <laughs> so this has been your behind the scenes look at the making of Spider Queen episode seven, at least on the technical side. I know we didn't really have any of the acting side in there. Maybe in the future we'll do an episode like that. I hope you are excited to see Spider Queen episode 7 that is coming out maybe tomorrow. If not, October 27th. It all depends now that we've had this After Effect crash. So hopefully it'll work out. I hope you enjoy it. Like this video. Like Spider Queen episode 7. Go back and re-watch the previous six episodes. And um, yeah, we will see you next time in the next making of video.